This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. So, we've got a box here, and inside the box there's a guitar. You know what happens next. Yes, indeed, here it is. This is a Faisley guitar, um, it, more precisely, a Faisley Outlaw Coyote Plus SS. Trips off the tongue, doesn't it? Uh, basically, these guitars are the in-house brand of Bax Music, who got in touch with me and said uh, they'd like to send me some guitars to make videos with, and this is one of them. There's two others coming up that I'm going to be uh, doing videos with. Um, these guitars uh, were sent to me without any money changing hands, but I don't get to keep them. They're just here on loan and, um, you know, basically all thoughts and opinions are my own. If this is a stinker of a guitar, I will be sure to tell you. Straight out of the box, uh, the action was quite high and it needed a little bit of setup work doing. Uh, basically, a little bit of a tweak on the truss rod and load the bridge saddles. But now it plays really, really nicely. There's no fret buzz, there's no choking off anywhere along the neck. And um, speaking of the frets, very nicely finished uh, for a budget guitar. These guitars cost £149. And for that, you also get um, a Graftec Tusk Nut, which is a nice touch at this price point um, we've got an ash body with a roasted maple neck and um, correct through body stringing I say correct because that's how I think it should be done on a Telecaster uh, other people you know obviously differ than that but it's just I like through body stringing on a Telecaster and this has it uh, we've got 22 frets uh, nine and a half inch radius uh, fret body did I mention roasted maple neck um, Unbranded, no-name tuners, not locking or anything like that, but they do the job uh, reasonably well, or very well indeed. None of that kind of gritty, lumpy sort of feel that you get from it, uh, that you often get uh, on cheap guitars. Two, I'm assuming, ceramic single-coil pickups, three-way switch, volume and tone. You know the recipe for this sort of guitar. Um, as I said, I'll put a full link to the spec down below. What really... Um, impresses me is the, is this body it's a really kind of lovely finish on it it's it's not um lacquered or whatever it's it's just a hand uh, rubbed stain i believe um it's an ash body i can't see any joins in the body that doesn't mean they aren't there but there's if you look at the grain on the back like that there's no kind of obvious uh places where you can you know kind of pick out a joint it may be um a single piece body i tend to suspect it's just that it's very very kind of well joined so that you can't see the joins it's probably going to be a multiple piece body um so let's have a listen to what it sounds like i'm plugged in at the moment to the marshall dsl1 combo on the classic game channel with the volume maxed out um you know so i'm just going to max out the volume on the guitar and so, sorry, I hit the wrong button then. I'm just going to max out the volume on the guitar and uh, let's hear some sounds. I'll point the camera down so you can see what I'm doing with the controls. Here we go. <laughs>
so there we go um much better than i was expecting to be honest with you um even though my playing was uh it's weird when you put the camera on Im immediately you forget how to play anything at all um mm. so apologies for any kind of flubbers in there when i was playing but you get the, the general idea of what the guitar sounds like what does it sound like it sounds like a telecaster and you know um it plays nice roasted maple neck tusk nut um hand stained body made of ash and i don't care that these are ceramic pickups i'm assuming they are because you know it, at this price point if they were putting alnico pickups on it you'd expect them to be announcing that uh, they were alnico 5 or alnico 2 pickups so i'm going to assume that they're ceramic but you know what they sound pretty good um it sounds like a like i said like a telecaster it does all of the requisite noises that you expect from this style of guitar and you know pretty good versions of those tones as well i'd happily record with this guitar which is what i'm going to be doing um yeah coming up in a few days time you're going to hear this guitar in a full mix uh, with the band i do apologize for the dog barking in the background by the way um i'm going to be doing a full mix uh w with this guitar uh full review all the weights and measures you know kind of neck profile nut width pickup readings all that sort of good stuff that i usually do in those videos uh but that is uh it for today just a quick little uh first impressions look at the Faisley outlaw series coyote plus ss i think that's the uh, the correct designation for it and uh, that's what i think of it make of it what you will and that is pretty much the video for today folks hope you've enjoyed what you've seen and if that's the case please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not give me a like while you're at it don't forget as always the live stream every friday 5 p.m uk time where we drink beer and talk about music and guitars what a great way to kick off the weekend i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all, stay sane. Bye for now.